Hi everybody, this is Elizabeth with Live Simple, Live Free, and I've got another unboxing that I want to share with you. Here we go. Well, if you've never seen me do one of these unboxings before, um, I get a subscription service from a, um, a wonderful subscription called Lev Hayalam, which means um, Heart of the World. And it is just helping families, businesses, artists, and things that are um, in the heart of Israel, in Samaria and Judea, helping them to be able to have a way to be able to sell their products that they make. And so, um, every month I get a box that's been so much fun to open and everybody seems to enjoy it so I just I just enjoy getting to share the opening with you and it means a lot to be able to feel like I can kind of help support these families and these businesses and so um, I will open this now and we'll get to do it together <laughs> I love this itty bitty little knife that I got in Branson it's so handy it's the first time I've ever had my own pocket knife and it sure is handy <laughs> all right so let's open this up they seem to always have a theme so let's see what it's going to be for this month I get a box um, one a box a month okay I'm gonna close this very carefully there we go <laughs> all right oh as always it smells so good oh my goodness it smells so good now, let's see here. The Gift of Melody. The theme of this package is the Nigun, Nigun, the melody of the Judean mountains. A melody originating from the sounds of King David's harp, heard thousands of years ago in these mountains, and that now emerges and erupts anew from the artists living and producing in this same region. Well, let's look and see what there is, and then I'll go back to looking at this, like, introductory thing here. Oh, Songs of Judea. Oh, this is so cool. Look what they've done here. There's, like, an introduction, and then they have the words, and then they have a Q, QR code on here that um, I can use to be able to listen to the music. What a neat idea. They talk about all the different musical artists. It's full of the QR codes. Man, we live in such an amazing world that <laughs> you could have something like that. And then there's always a little magazine that talks about how things are, are going in Israel right now. And then it talks about the different artists and um, the different growers and families and stuff that contribute to this. And there's even always like yeah, yummy recipes, and a uh, cool. I'll look at that some more in a little bit, a little bit later. I got some herbs in the last box. I think it was the last box. And it's called za'atar, and it's like hyssop and different herbs that were grown. Oh my goodness, I love that stuff. I'm just wanted to mention. I've just I've really enjoyed that. All right, let's see what we've got here now. Ooh, oh that sachet, sachet smells so good. I'm sure there's going to be an explanation of what this is for. <laughs> this is great. Okay. Oh, jewelry design. They have the prettiest stuff. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love this. The sound emanating from a harp strings, harp strings is deep and inspiring. An ancient Jewish legend passed down from generation to generation tells a story of a harp hung on King David's window. When the wind blew at midnight, King David's harp would begin to play by itself. The sound from the playing of the strings filled King David with inspiration from which the song of Psalms originated. And this little necklace is um, like a replica of, of David's harp. Ooh, I'm trying to get it out here. 
This is beautiful. I'll show it to you as soon as I can manage it. Oh, that's beautiful. That is a substantial chain. Wow. I'll try to show you a, a good close-up, um, but it's pr so pretty. And I know it's like an artisan um, that would have made this. Oh, that's a beautiful necklace. I will love that. And like I said, it's a pretty substantial chain. Oh, that's so pretty. And it's the harp. <laughs> that's really cool. I'm going to see if I can just put this like here. Here we go. All right. Okay, and then the little sachet of herbs or something there. Boy, it smells so good. I always love opening these things. Oh, almonds. Yeah. So almonds grown around Mount Tabor and packaged and distributed by the Hebron Flower Company with love. Okay, I think, let me see if this is, yeah, it's almonds, yum. That will be enjoyed in this household greatly. <laughs> oh, looks like it's a bottle of wine. Let me get this opened up. They package these very carefully because it's got to come all the way from Israel. How did I go my whole life without my own little pocket knife, sweetheart? <laughs> I can't believe it took me until we were in Branson for me to realize how cool it would be for me to have my own. I borrow bills all the time. There we go. Until one time you asked to borrow my knife and I said, nothing doing, get your own. And you went, oh yeah. And I did. <laughs> <laughs> a little buck knife I got in Branson. <laughs> okay. Oh, lovely. Oh, these are such pretty, classy looking. Uh, a Gush Etzian Winery, Spring River White Wine. Our winery has revived the winemaking industry in an ancient vine growing area, the very region where the blessing conferred by Jacob upon Judah rests. A commitment to excellence along with ideal terrain, drained slopes, and tall mountains have made the winery one of the elite family boutique wineries in Israel. So, it's a white wine. Oh, wow. It's named after the ancient aqueduct which was built by King Herod 2,000 years ago. Wow. This river carried spring water from the Gush Etzion area to Jerusalem. Ah, lovely. I always, we don't drink at all, but I always find somebody who really enjoys these beautiful, the wine that I was able to get from Love High Long. I'm able to find very happy people to enjoy it. Okay. Oh, more of these wonderful Judean her her herbs. I was about ready to pronounce it the British way, herbs. Okay. These are all herbs that grow wild in the Judean hills. It's good with fish, chicken, and vegetables, meat on the grill, herbs, garlic, and salt. Mm. Oh, these are always so good. Like I said, that one I got last time, I, oh, I'm going bananas over it. Oh, yeah, that is a lovely, mm, what a nice combination. It adds so much flavor. <laughs> it's great. All right. This is interesting. Okay. Ooh, blue clay, Merav Hashe, blue clay, hyaluronic, not the yeah, hyaluronic acid, is supposed to be very good for your skin. Um, moisturizing mask. Huh. It's a cream and is absorbed into the skin. I've had some of the best, like lotions and creams and you know, skin soothing things, um, which I appreciate because my skin can use soothing. Oh, I'm going to take the little tab off. I just want to see what it smells like. I'm certainly not going to put any on right now. Oh yeah, that smells good. Mm. Mm. 
It comes with like a plastic covering to protect the whole box. And every time I take the plastic off, um, which I go ahead and do that before I talk to you guys, um, I can always smell wonderful like herbs and lavender and all sorts of different things. Ooh, classy. Oh, anti-aging night cream. Blue clay. Wow. Stuff is full of like natural herbs and oils and mm. beautiful, just beautiful. Takes it a second to get going always up. There it is. That's very classy. Oh, that's delicate. Yes, that is very nice. Ooh, sweetheart. It's called Rachel's Cookie Box. With almonds, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, eggs, sugar, cranberries, walnuts, pumpkin seeds, peaches, salt, cinnamon. Oh, I bet these are so good. Mmm, I know somebody's going to enjoy eating these. Wonderful. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take a second and go back to that initial little explanation thing. Look at this, sweetheart. It's full of music. And talking about all the artists. Oh, everything smells so good. My goodness. Alright, let's see what it says. So, you know, they talked in here about the David's harp heard thousands of years ago in these mountains. This package opens to a wondrous golden harp. Yes, that beautiful piece of jewelry. This piece of jewelry was created by a young artist from Tekoa that is located in the juncture of the Judean Desert and the Judean Mountains where the young David herded his sheep and played his harp. The other items also from this region are a seasoning blend created from 10 natural herbs that grow in these mountains, health cookies baked by a young baker from this area, White wine from the Gush Etzian vineyards located in the Bethlehem region, so it's around Bethlehem. Quality cosmetics developed by a pharmacist from Ephrat and Israeli native almonds from Hebron, the city where King David ruled at the start of his monarchy. So please take note of the unique booklet of tunes we've produced for you. Use the QR code in the songbook and embark on a musical journey through songs of artists from Judea. You can hear the artists correspond with them and read about their individual journeys. Journeys of searching, of loss, of the struggle against terror, and of the yearning to ascend in pilgrimage to Jerusalem along the Bethlehem route. The renewed melody currently developing in Judea is new yet old, more ancient than wine and infused with earthy flavors. We are excited and feel privileged to have you partner with us in the Nigun, the N-I-G-U-N, the melody of the Judean mountains. That's so neat. I choked up a little bit because, um, you know, I've been hearing, I heard recently that that if it wasn't for something like Lev Hyalom, um, right now for a lot of these artists and, and creators and growers and stuff, um, with, with the pandemic and everything, this, some, apparently this is like their main way of being able to, to sell the things that they work so hard to produce. And um, so I'm just uh, grateful that I can... For one thing, I love this stuff, but I'm just grateful that I can kind of be a part of helping them keep this all going with their families and stuff. So, oh yeah, it just smells lovely. So I will enjoy that music. And um, as usual, this little booklet will tell a lot about, um, you know, for one thing, recipes in here, but all the different um, creators and then about the music. So pretty neat. So I will enjoy trying that, that heart necklace on. I'll make sure you get to see it. So, all right. Hmm. The, this artist, the artist here um, that has a studio in Tekoa. Um, she employs local women who do much of the actual jewelry making for her. It's important for me to give people in my community the chance to make a living doing something they love. I seek women who know how to embroider but don't necessarily think of themselves as artists. They enjoy being able to work locally and to do creative work. Oh. Huh. Returning to her connection to the harp, 
Hadass says, So one aspect of what the harp symbolizes for me is the music itself and the harmony it brings to my family. But the harp specifically is an instrument that has held a fascination for me for many years. As a teenager, I would sit for hours in downtown Jerusalem and watch this woman who used to play her harp on the street. I would just sit across from her and watch and listen. And in those tumultuous teen years, this would center me. Oh. Uh, that's so neat. She's just got a, a wonderful story here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad you guys enjoy opening this with me. And um, like I said, it's, it's always stuff that I either am to totally enjoying myself or I have a delight in sharing with other people. So. I will, um, you know, give some information, um, you know, a link in the description below um, if you're interested in looking at Love High Alam. Um, I'm, like I said, it's just neat to me to be able to feel like I can kind of help them in my own small way, you know, to keep going. So, all right. Well, listen, you guys be very, very blessed. I love you, and I will be seeing you all very soon. So, live simple, live free. All right. Bye-bye, you guys. <laughs>